So as you can see, I'm in a different environment. Let's see how this works. You are propped up on weird stuff on an old clothing rack. Um, my situation is crazy right now. I just started to work as a teacher and I'm very excited. Um, we had open house tonight, that is why I'm dressed like this. I've been up um, since really early this morning. I've had a 13 hour day, so sorry that I didn't fresh up my makeup and whatever. So anyway, this is my stitch fix. I have, um, I'm going to be opening my tweezers because I am living in an old friend's um, house and it's close to, please stop, Marshall, um, because <laughs> I haven't sold my house yet, so I am living at my house that's an, a little over an hour away during the weekends, and on the weekdays I am here, so because it's 10 minutes away, and I get a little anxiety driving, and my principal is very strict on being on time, and so I don't want to have to leave an hour and a half early every day to ensure that I'm on time, um, and there's a lot of wrecks on the highway that I take. So long story short, there's that. I'm going to be working probably 60 to 70 hours a week, probably closer to 60. Um, for the next few weeks, probably months, until I figure out this teaching thing. There is a lot. Um, teaching is not just teaching. There is a lot that goes into it and a lot of paperwork because I'm an um, intermediate specialist, aka special ed teacher. I'm teaching students with behavioral issues. Um, and I have a few others in there. And so there's a lot of paperwork. And just learning that and all the systems and all the software and all that stuff is a lot. So that being said, I just wanted to explain my environment. Um, the sun is going down, so hopefully you can see me. I will have to make this quick, right? Like I ever make anything quick. And, um, I just want to explain, I will probably, I am feeling a lot better, I'm just a little bit tired and that's about it, and my skin's been a little funny since I've been sick, but I'm a lot better, a lot of you have showed your concern and I appreciate that. I will probably only be doing like five um, videos a month. I just got a new software to do videos too, so to try and make them just a little bit better, so I'm learning that, I'm learning how to do a job and I'm working so much, so it'll probably only be maybe four, four to six videos I guess um, a month. So. Um, in the comments below, let me know what videos you like the best, and I will try to at least make sure that they are those. Um, the makeup tutorials, I don't know if anybody really watches them. I have one that I've been working on for a couple weeks that I love, but it is... Everybody's calling me to see how open house went. Thank you. I'm not answering you. Um, so anyway, um, those take forever, but I'm willing to do them every once in a while. I have one that I've been working on for a long time, but those and Stitch Fix take the longest. But that being said, I will do them. Okay, so let's go get into it. Oh my gosh, let me take this off. It is so hot. Um, Take off the shoes and use tweezers to open up my stitch fix. Which is weird. Ah. So I do remember kind of requesting certain things um, this time, but I also wanted. Alexandra to tell us a little bit about herself since she watches these and since I feel like um, she knows a lot about me and how complaining I am and stuff. Um, I also wanted to show you flowers that I got from Stitch Fix. They sent me flowers last week. Um, they died really quickly within two days. They were drooping, um, but they were like the expensive kind that you buy, so apparently just don't go to that florist. But they sent me beautiful flowers to wish me well, and I like was like, I I didn't cry, like, because I was touched. I just giggled and was so excited. Like, I giggled forever, and I called my dad, and my dad kind of giggled, and my dad's not, like, a giggly type. Like, he was like, that is cool. Like, so anyway, thank you, Stitch Fix, for sending me flowers and wishing me well. That just made, like, I already had, like, an awesome day. I don't remember what I did that day, but I already had an awesome one. And I remember thinking, like, this day just got even better, and I didn't even know it could. So, thank you. Um, but I wanted to show you guys that, but I didn't want to show you. Um, I went to record it two days after they sent it, and they're all kind of, already kind of droopy, so I was like, okay, I'll cut them, and, um, see if, and put plant food in there and stuff and um, see what the next day is because sometimes they spruce up and they just half the flowers were still doing okay all the green stuff was still doing okay and all the colorful pretty flowers were dying so anywho that's my excuse all right so I asked Alexandra to um, you know tell me a little about her I don't know if she's loud but I just wanted to put that out there okay hi Mandy I hope this is from Alexandra if you are just now following me hi Mandy I hope you're feeling better I was worried when I saw the video you posted from the hospital sad face. For this fix, I picked out a few special pieces that will wow you at your junior high reunion. Okay, which may not happen because I'm the one putting it on. It was like, it's only like 10 people. It was like a lunch group of people because we're weird. And like the few people who RSVP'd are friends that I hang out with all the time anyway. So we're going to go do something else because there was like four or five people. Now somebody else is calling me. There was like four or five other people who um, said that they would want me to do this and organize this and so now I do and they don't want to go or they haven't confirmed and I'm not going to stay down here if I don't have to. So anyway, blah, blah. So it may not happen, but either way, whatever. That's a long, I talk too much. All right. 
So, um, I know you have, haven't been wanting dresses lately, but I had to include this one by Everly because I saw a really similar one on your Pinterest. I have not been keeping up my Pinterest at all. Um, this will look great on you because it's perfect for the reunion. You could also... I don't think the girl I'm living with knows I do this and she's going to think I'm a freak. This will also, this will look great on you and this is perfect for your reunion. You could also try the printed... The printed pencil skirt with the black lace top from last time or the orange top from your June Stitch Fix for another fun option. For the reunion or lunch with friends, try the Steli, Steely tank or the Delano chain strap top with white jeans and strappy heels. I keep trying white jeans they never work out. But jeans and strappy heels, since you asked about me, I live in San Francisco and I was one of the first stylists at Stitch Fix. I love fashion and making women feel great and I am a total dog lover. XOXL Alexandra. Okay, so Stitch Fix I think originated in San Francisco and they do have like satellite stylists now from what I understand. Um, but she's probably like works, like has been in the warehouse several times and actually knows like everything's going on. So that's pretty exciting. Um, and I just wanted to share a little bit about her because she is part of this video, whether or not she likes it or not. Um, so I think that's awesome and I don't know if she had to ask to share information, but I'm glad that she was allowed if she had to ask. So let's dig in. These are the cards that show you what you got. I don't like to look at them um, because I don't. I, I like to just get dig in. So my price point is $181. Um, if I buy all five, it's $268 before the 25% discount. Um, so anyway, $181 for all five is a pretty good deal for me. Um, and also the stuff she's sending me is probably good because we are expected to dress like this pretty much every day. High heels are okay and all that stuff, which I like, but we don't have very many dress down days. And I'm a teacher that sometimes have kids that want to hit people in me. So I like having to dress up, but whew, my feet hurt. Okay. So let's see what we have. And I will tell you the prices as I try them on. We're running out of daylight, folks. This probably is going to look dark and dingy anyway. And I apologize. You can already see that the light is like leaving. Oh, I don't know what this is. Some tribal print something. This is the pencil skirt she was talking about. It does seem like a nice fabric. Oh, it's going to hit me in bad places. And yes, yes. Oh, a dress that she said I would love. And I do need more purple in my life. I, at one point, would have thrown up if I said that. They sent me a shirt kind of like this before that I didn't like, but it's, it's still different. Oh, I like lace. Okay, and they call this teal. Huh. I thought I would hate this. I do actually hate the print, but I actually kind of like all the colors and stuff how they go together, so I don't hate it. Does that make sense? Okay. And I don't really like stuff with weird accessories on that like that and like this, because how am I going to wash this? But I love this color and I kind of like that accessory. Alexandra, why are you sending me stuff that I hate but I love it? Okay, so let's try it on. I don't have curtains in this room or anything. So I'm not sure how the lighting is in here. I know it's probably pretty bad. Ooh, look at this pooch. Um, being in the hospital, I gained weight even though I didn't eat because I guess they were put, pushing a lot of, because um, I was dehydrated and plus my like, organs were out and stuff. So um, they pushed a lot of sugar and salt water into me because I was like, why am I the only person who gets sick and gains weight? So I gained like 10 pounds in three or four weeks. So um, I've just now started having a little bit of energy to do stuff now that I'm working, of course. Um, so I'm going to go back to it and hopefully try to lose. I'd like to lose 15, so, but anyway, um, this is the Love Appella Steli Steely Embellish Knit Tank. It is $54. That is so much money. Um, it does fit nicely, I think. Um, I love coral. I don't think coral is the best color on me, but I don't care. I love it. I do like this, and I think it is a very, it could be a work or play shirt, and I really like that, especially now that, like, our principal really wants us to dress up, because I would like to be able to just take my cardigan off and go. So, and not feel like I'm so overdressed. So, all right, $54. That is kind of pricey. Okay, clearly I wouldn't wear these two things together. Actually, the top I was wearing yesterday would have really gone well with this um, skirt. Where's the paper? Okay. So, this is the, I'll talk about this first and then we'll talk about the shirt. This is the Renee C. Melissa, with one L and one A, um, printed pencil skirt, and it is $48. Um, all I have to say is that ass. Um, I do like pencil skirts because, man, they make my dairy air look good. And they make me look thin through here, but a lot of them make me look a little preggers right there. So, um, this is not a print I would like. I could deal with it, um, with the right other clothes, but I don't love it. $48 isn't bad for a pencil skirt. Um, I don't know. I don't love it. It is almost too long. It is, like, at the point where I do have to pull it up 
quite a bit to have it. I like stuff that hits just above my knee. Um, especially when it starts hitting into my calf. Like if this were, if it were like an inch or two lower, it would make me look really, really large. Um, this is the Creative Commune Delano Chain Strap Blouse. It is $58. Um, I do not actually love this shirt. The, the issue is, um, I have bat wings, or whatever you want to call it, like four boobs. Um, I don't know if you can see right here. And so like I could keep messing with it, but then this looks kind of awkward too. So I feel like oh, I have a shadow and you can't see anything. But anyway, um, so that's what they look like. They both have weird patterns. I'll show you what this is like untucked. I do like how it looks if it didn't have this and it does. I would have to have it tucked in because it's one of those shirts that catches on the boobs and then makes you look like your stomach's out there. And I don't like that. But it's very nice. Both are very nice fabrics and actually light fabrics. Like I think it's interesting. I was getting heavy fabrics in the summer and now that it's fall I'm getting light fabrics. But I also do like how this is could be a summer or fall or spring top because it is light colors, but they're a little bit toned down, although I don't want to like the toned down colors. So um, I think this is a good price for a skirt if I loved it, and $58 is a little bit much, especially when I have to wear an annoying bra, different like straps bra underneath. This is one of those shirts that I just wonder like if the stylist who created it like made a demo, like or a dummy or whatever you call it, sample, whatever they call it in the fashion world, version, because like you know, it seemed like a good idea, but then it wasn't. It's a little large on me. The other things that I've had fit very well. This is large. It looks like a 90, like actually a small 90 down here, like a short 90, that, um, you know, isn't long enough. And this stuff just, like even if they would have just made it shorter, it would look better, or made something that kind of looked like a faux layer, which maybe they tried to do, like a faux layer. But anywho, this is the Paper Moon Lion's Lace Trim Knit Tank. It's forty-four dollars. I hate it. Like I really like the color. I kind of like the the stripes, the small stripes and stuff. And um, this is something that probably wouldn't be it barely be dressing up for. But it's an awkward length. Like it's almost like slutty skirt length. But it's too long to be a shirt. Too long to wear leggings. I don't understand it. So I do not like it. I'll show you the back. There's a cute little keyhole. But it's I don't I don't know. I don't get it. I don't understand. IDK, my BFF Jill, IDK. OMG. Okay. I love this. Everybody's going to be jealous of me and my cute dress. Um, however, this would not have been appropriate for the reunion. I think I said in my note, I can read it somewhere, but I think I said in my note to Alexander that this was going to be like a bar and I wanted something like sexiest barge because it's just like a hillbilly reunion is what it would be. But anyway, um, this is beautiful. This would be good for like a normal high school reunion. Um, so anyway, I love it. The only thing I don't love is that my bat wings keep falling out everywhere. Um, Although I still have a little bit of football player shoulders going on, I love the, the scalloped, okay, this is the Everly Fran scalloped edge dress at $64. Um, it's a little pricey, but that's okay for a dress. This would be perfect for work. Perfect. I could even put like a little white belt around it and I think it would look lovely. I think it looks great on me. It's purple. It hits me perfectly. And this is, uh, somebody said that my principal has a rule where like if you're sitting down and your skirt comes up above your knee at this, if you're sitting down, um, just send you home. So anyway, modesty is key. And uh, I think that this has that. Like, I mean, I'll have to you know, make sure I'm not like sitting down and whatever. But I think it's modest. It's comfortable. I can wear it to church, work, happy hour, all kinds of different things. So, um, and it's a nice material. It's thin. Everything has been pretty thin material. I don't know where this was in the summer, but this is a great fall winter dress. And I think if I wore some light accessories, it could be a spring summer dress as well. So it's $64. Um, the two items I really loved were that coral uh, embellished knit tank was 54 and this is 64 so um, we'll have to see if I don't think I liked everything enough to get everything so we'll have to see if I get one or two things um, again thank you for sticking with me um, I will get a couple of videos out soon but it's just gonna be slow going and I appreciate all your subscribers and I will be back in action doing you know probably close to I think I was doing about seven months, so I'll try to get back there. Let me know which videos you liked, what you, what you really want to see from me, if you have any other new ideas. I have a list of ideas that some of you guys have given me, so I do a few of those every once in a while. Um, Amanda's Magnificent Monthly Must Haves Seasonal Edition um, will be coming out because I know I haven't been keeping up with those. Um, I've already did, done it, but I'm just working on that tutorial, which is probably, no joke, taking me over 40 hours of work, just because I'm learning a new software and they're the hardest ones to do anyway. Um, so, anyway, I appreciate you being with me. I don't know if I'll get this out by the time... Um, I send it back, so I'll have to make the decision on my own. But you can tell me what you like, what you don't. And sometimes, like, you make me have buyer's remorse, or sometimes you make me 
feel sad that I didn't buy something. So, all right, thank you so much. Remember, if you're thinking about getting a dog, please consider adopting and not shopping and checking your local rescues and shelters. You can find a wonderful dog there, like Marshall, who was crashed because he likes living here because he gets to go on lots of walks because they don't, they don't have a yard. <laughs> all right, bye.